Hey everybody, it's Mr. 95 Cents. We're here for Mr. 95 Cents Sport Card Adventures. Oh, today we're going to be opening up a brand new stuff. 2024 Topps Update Baseball. Look at that here. Wow, the update series. We'll see what happens. I, I might get something. You never know. Did it give you anything? I'm not sure. Let him cook insert, so I want to let him cook. All right, so we're going to be opening up that later. How are we doing, everybody? Hope you're having a, a great day here. We had our big kitchen table box break last night. <clears throat> a lot of the guys stayed later. We watched uh, mostly Yankees on the commercials. We watched the Giant game, and uh, they both lost. And my Yankees are up, up to the wall now. So they got to win, or that's it. What are you going to do? They're not hitting. They're not hitting. All that money we spend, and they don't want to hit nothing. It's terrible. <laughs> And on top of that, they're striking out a lot. I want to mention no names. But pretty soon, uh, somebody don't hit. We're going to start calling him Mr. May like Dave Winfield. But that's all right. I don't want to mention no names. Hopefully, he'll start hitting because I like him. All right. So we got a lot of stuff to do today. We have uh, warehouse finds, card shop stories, box break there. But first, we're going to shout out to, oh, commenting collector. Commenting collector. He had me on what he calls a face-to-face. -face. Uh, we recorded it, and I believe he put it on last night. I didn't get a chance to see it yet, but check down below uh, on the featured channels. Comment to collectors there, and I believe it's there already. I think he sent me an email. So hopefully later on, because Kitchen Table Box Week, I don't get to check nobody's videos. I get ready for that. I got to get all the snacks ready, all that stuff. So starting later on today, I'll be able to... While I'm going through cards, review more videos. And he's going to be one of the first ones I'm going to look at. So check out the face-to-face -face down below from Commenting Collector. He's going to be doing that, I think, just about every week or so. So very interesting channel. He's a very good guy. All right. We got prizes. All right. So if you commented on the last video and you're a subscriber, you now have a chance for one of these prizes. For first out of the box, we have a 2023 Select Draft Pick Pack. Second out of the box, we got from Don Russell Lee, a zoning commission numbered out of 500 of Drew Brees. For third out of the box, we have a contender rookie ticket Chase Brown card, jersey card there. And fourth out of the box, we got a mosaic touchdown masters Ladanian Tomlinson. All right, let's get our box here. We got a lot of tickets in there and we're gonna start mixing them up. I think we have, we get, we normally average about 50 to 55 entries. So, still not bad. You get like a 13 to 1 shot, we'll say. All right, here we go. All right. Good luck to everybody. We're going to go for the pack first. Okay, the pack is going to... Oh, Daryl Book. He's been lucky lately. And he was just here last night with the kitchen table. Daryl Book with the pack. The football pack right there. All right, Daryl wins the pack. All right, now the zoning commission. Ah. Okay, going for the Drew Brees zoning commission. Zach's collection, Zach's collections. All right, he's got the Drew Brees zoning commission card, numbered out of 500. All right, we got the Chase Brown contender jersey. I'll mix that up. Oh, Luke. Luke. He's coming to work later. Luke. <laughs> and the Mosaic Touchdown Masters. <clears throat> here it comes. Here it comes. FM Cards and More. FM Cards and More. All right, so those guys are going to win the prizes for today. Later on, I'll show you some prizes that we're going to give away next video, which is going to be Saturday. And all you got to do is comment on this video and be a subscriber. All right, let me get my warehouse finds over here. Oh, okay, we got some warehouse finds here. Got a lot of warehouse finds. First, we got a bunch of Wayne Gretzky's. All right, let's see. Well, this was a, a set that they made. And I think it was all Wayne Gretzky's, but these were nice from Upper Deck, the Gretzky collection. 
and they they documented all the different teams, different time periods in his career. It was, it was a really nice set. Oh, that's nice with the Stanley Cup. This one is just a 92, 93 upper deck with him just sitting on the bench. And we got a 1990 season leader from score. Put that back in a the plastic. They were all one, one shot plastic there. All right, let's see. Who we got here? Grant Fuhrer. All right. We got a Pinnacle Zenith, Grant Fuhrer. Got an old Tops, Grant Fuhrer. A Bowman's Best. There's this duplicate here. We got a Pinnacle from 97-98. A Skybox Impact. And we got an Upper Deck World of Sports. When he played for Team Canada. Yeah, he was good. Grant Fuhrer. Oh. These are going to my buddy, Chris. I found some. We got Steve Yarsermans. We got an old Upper Deck Steve Yarserman. Got an Upper Deck Ice. That's from uh, 2000, 2001. Now, this was nice. They had a lot of nice hockey sets back in the day. This is an Upper Deck Mask collection. Just a regular card in the set. We got an SP Authentic. A Bowman's Best. This is a 98-99 uh, Upper Deck. Oh, these were nice cards. These were at Upper Deck. Team Foundations. Look at this one. Gordy Howe, Steve Yarzerman. That's nice. Oh, we got a couple of SPX cards. This is just a regular SPX card. That's from 2001-2002. Uh, and then we got an SPX Extra Talent. There you go. A lot of nice Steve Yarzerman cards. Chris in Detroit's going to be happy. <laughs> Oh, we got some basketball. What we got in basketball? We got some Kevin Garnett's. All right. We got a Upper Deck Encore. Got a USA from Tops, Kevin Garnett. It's a Collector's Choice. It's a uh, Upper Deck from 2009-2010. And this is nice. This is a USA uh, gold card of Kevin Garnett. We had the regular and the gold versions. Let's see here. We got more Kevin Garnett coming. Let's see what we got in this one here. Now we got a couple rookies. We got a, a Kevin Garnett Stadium Club rookie. And we got, this. Is, these are nice, the Fleer Metal rookie of Kevin Garnett. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry if I, I mean we're pretty soundproof here, but they are buzzing with those lawn uh, leaf blowers. All the neighbors got their landscapers here like all at once, and I've been waiting like a half an hour for them to finish. They're not finished. There's big properties here, and they just keep blowing and blowing. So you can he maybe hear it in the background a little bit. It's not much, but they're right, right the. Uh, well, thank God the properties are big. They're probably 150 feet away, but, you know, still, they're here. What we got next? Yao Ming. Okay. These cards are, look like there's a couple cards sticking together here. No, there they go. All right, we got a uh, Flare Showcase Yao Ming. We got an Upper Deck uh, Diamond Collection. This is nice. This is the EX. The all acetate ones. Got a nice SPX. And then we got a Fear Tradition triple card. Yao Ming, Amari Stoudemire, and Kareem Rush. 
of the different guys we got here. Uh, oh, there's the next one. It's Chris Weber. All right. I remember, I remember when Chris Weber was the talk of the town. He was the hottest card in the nation. <laughs> now, he doesn't sell that great. But, hey, I appreciate the old guys. We got a Chris Webber here. That's from uh, 2002, 2003. Clear. We got a uh, Skybox rookie card of Chris Webber. Got a nice upper deck one. Got a regular tops. These were interesting. The uh, standing O cards. They were nice with the basketball in the background. We got a Skybox Premium. Got a Fleer Platinum. And we got a nice EX. The EX cards are one of my, my favorite cards. With the all acetate. And we got a few older basketballs coming up. What do we got here? There's a few cards in here. Yeah, these are from uh, 1979, 1980. We got a Dave Cowens. We got a Earl of Pearl Monroe. And we got a David Thompson. Three nice ball players right there. That was back when basketball was good. Oh, we got baseball. This is a flashy card. It's one of them fireworks, uh, pink fireworks dominator of Barry Larkin. They were always nice, nice inserts. We got a Diamond King rookie of Dansby Swanson. We got a Topps uh, Chrome anniversary rookie card of Cedric Mullins. Got an optic rated rookie of Andrew Benatendi. And this is nice. Tops Heritage Miners. Got a Javier Baez minor league card. And we get some old stuff. Got some 77s coming. Top 70s, 1977. Got a George Brett from 1977. Got a Bruce Suter. That's his rookie, I think. Got a Mike Schmidt. This was always an interesting card. Big League Brothers, George Brett and Ken Brett. Got a 1976 batting leader, George Brett and Bill Madlock. Got a Steve Carlton. A 76 strikeout leader, Nolan Ryan and Tom Seaver. We've got a Carlton Fisk. And, oh, we got a couple of Don... Well, we got more Don Mattingly's from that load. These are from that load. We got a Topps rookie of Don Mattingly. These are not around here too much. We got the Opeachy rookie of Don Mattingly. We got the Fleer Don Mattingly rookie. Oh, these were nice. This is the Score Gold Rush cards. There's a parallel from back in 1994. Got a Prism Field Pass, Don Mattingly. Got an Optic Masters of the Game. Now, this is an old one, right? Yeah. It's a 93 Finest. I don't see them around too much anymore. Uh, these were the uh, Topps Gold Winner cards. That's from 92, 1992. The Topps Gold Winner. And we got, these were, uh, these were a parallel. This is a newer card, for, I want to say from 2019, but it's the Allen and Ginter Gold. Can't go wrong with Don Mattingly. 
Oh, and we got football next. What do we got here? We got a bunch of football. Wow, this is a thick card. It's a uh, Top Supreme numbered at a 209. Weird number. Maurice Jones Drew. Numbered at a 209. We have a Legendary Contenders Steve Largent card from 2011. This guy's still popular in this area because he went to Rutgers. It, and it's a nice card. This is a finest atomic die-cut rookie of Muhammad Sanu. Big Rutgers star. We got a Leaf Limited Boyd Dollar Legend card, number to 349. Old Packers. Got a Tools of the Trade, Eddie George, numbered to 1,500. Now, oh, these were these game day inserts. So we got Topps game, game Day inserts. We have a Sean Green, Larry Fitzgerald, and these are from uh, 2011. Got an Adrian Peterson and a Ben Rosseberger. Yeah, that was an insert from 2011. Let's see. We got some Emmett Smith, it looks like here. All right. We got a uh, absolute. What year is this one? From 1999 of Emmett Smith. Got a Topps card from 99 also. Got a Pinnacle Certified from 97. I'm thinking this was a Fleer Mystique card, yeah? Fleer Mystique from 2000. Oh, this, these were funny. These are from Upper Deck MVP. They were like... Uh, Draw your own card, and we got to draw your own card, Emmett Smith. Yeah, somebody, somebody drew that. Let's see what this say. Christopher Miranda, age nine, <laughs> hometown Tustin, California. So, if you, I guess you drew the right picture that they liked. You got your card made up, and you got became famous. All right, last but not least, we got some Dan Marino cards. All right. We got a classic Dan Marino from 1995. Got a Topps Chrome from 1998. Got a 1992 Collector's Edge. A 93 Fleer. And this one is a 1996 Playoff Prime. There we go. And that's our uh, warehouse finds here for today. All right, you never know what we're going to find. All kinds of stuff. Put that over here. Yep. Let me get a little swig of something here. I got an air rate. God is great. Says I got an air, air, aerate, I guess. I don't know. I'm surprised my voice is doing half decent because all I did was talk yesterday, almost nonstop. So, but I did have a good night's sleep because I was tired. I pretty much passed out. Because by the time I, I got cleaned up a little bit over here after the guys left and went to bed, it was like almost one o'clock in the morning. But I made it. All right, I made it. All right, we're gonna go right to the card shop story. So this is funny. I don't have nothing written down. There's still nothing written down. And last night, I says to the guys, what do you think? Uh, give me an idea for a card shop story, something that was going on in the card shop. And right away, they came up with Hot Dog Johnny. <laughs> I says, I forgot about him. <laughs> I I can't remember three quarters of the stuff that happened. I do, it does come to my brain, and that's, well, I'll tell you, I was thinking this, I was thinking that, and all of a sudden, 
that's the card shop story for the day. So, because I'm old and I forget, but I do remember. So as soon as they said that, I said, oh, I got to tell that story. So, so a little back backlog on Hot Dog Johnny. So Hot Dog Johnny's father, because Hot Dog Johnny at the time, we're going to talk about this, was probably about eight or nine years old. <laughs> so his father, oh, there's more landscapers showing up. Oh, my God. <laughs> so because the blowing stopped, but either they're leaving or they're coming, more coming. I don't know. So maybe the blowing stopped for now. But the leaves are coming down like crazy. I got to call JJ because I didn't call him yet because I wanted parking out front because we, we were allowed to put the leaves in the gutter. So now that the, the box, no more box break for two more weeks, I'll call him. So anyway, Hot Dog Johnny's father used to work for me. He worked for me in high school and part of college. I think I think throughout his whole college until he went to get his master's. And... Uh, so, and it, I I have told stories about his father before working for me, and I'll probably rehash some of that eventually for the, the newer guys on the channel, but his father was a, a great person. He's still a great person, uh, but a piece of work. Uh, he was one of these geniuses. I mean, mentally a genius. I mean, uh, he was always a straight-A student uh, who had no common sense. <laughs> Let's put it that way. But, you know, nice nice guy. To this day, he's a social worker. I mean, he's got all kinds of degrees and he's a social worker, but that's okay. He does has a great job, you know, great humanitarian, but still has no common sense. So anyway, so this is uh, later on. Uh, he... Uh, I mean, he, he's, he got married or whatever. Hot Dog Johnny's his son. And uh, he's still coming to the store to buy his stuff. And he did sports and he did magic. And I think he did Pokemon too, because Hot Dog Johnny got into po Pokemon. So it's funny. Uh, I had hot dogs in the store for the Thursday night box break. And he knew this from working there, that I would always have some hot dogs in the refrigerator. So this way, when we had the Thursday night box break, we would have hot dogs. And we, we didn't, we, they weren't fancy. We made them in the microwave, microwave hot dogs. That's all we had to cook, you know, was a microwave. So, but our, our microwave hot dogs were famous. Oh yeah, for our Thursday night box break. So later on, I believe he got divorced or whatever. And he had visitation. I think he had Hot Dog Johnny just about every weekend, you know. So uh, they would come Friday nights to play in the Magic Tournament. And he taught Hot Dog Johnny at like nine years old how to play some Magic. So here comes the story. So uh, once you get a little bit of background. So I, I knew what the situation was. Uh, he would get out of work which wasn't that close, go to the house, pick up Hot Dog Johnny and get to the uh, the shop to play the Friday Night Magic. And it, he was always a little late uh, most of the time. So, I mean, it was, it was a tough, you know, deal getting back and forth. I knew that. So he knew I had the hot dogs and I guess he didn't have time. This, this is how it started. He didn't have time to feed the kid. So... He says, can he have some hot dogs? I said, sure, no problem. So here I am now. I'm running a big store. I had an employee usually uh, there, but he didn't really work during the tournament. It was a weird, weird deal. The tournament didn't start till about, I think, 6.30 or something like that. And by 6.30, we would start to get a little slow. So... Uh, David worked most of the time on Friday night and he loved to play magic. He was a high school kid. He loved to play magic. And I said, listen, work, work till six. And then you could play in the tournament, but 
you know, do me a favor. If I get backed up or something, everything was computerized with the tournament. room. We, and we would have a table up front where we would enter the computer stuff. I said, listen, if I do get backed up with customers or something, just know that, uh, do me a favor, go up and put the entries in, you know, when you're done playing this and that, you might have to fill in for me. No problem. He was a great kid. No problem. You know, he would help out. With, uh, he knew magic up and down. I did too. So he would help out with a, a couple of rulings if we needed it or play, help with players. So he was working a little bit, but he was playing in the tournament. Let's put it that way. You know, and uh, everybody had fun. So it was a good, good thing. So uh, Hot Dog Johnny's father says to me, can you make him some hot dogs? He's hungry. I said, sure, no problem. So here I am, I'm trying to run the store, I'm trying to run the tournament, and I'm making hot dogs for Hot Dog Johnny. <laughs> so that lasted for a while. I want to say I was a, and not for the food, just for the work, a sucker for probably a couple months, at least, you know. And this is every Friday. And then I think something happened where I didn't, I didn't have time. I was waiting on a customer that was taking a while. And uh, he said something, the father, and he's a nice guy. He just has no common sense. He said something like, because I was busy with a customer and I couldn't stop to make the hot dogs. <laughs> so after about 10 minutes, he says to me, he's hungry, you know. And it clicked in my brain. I says, why can't the stupid father make the hot dogs himself? He, he used to work here. He used to make the hot dogs. <laughs> so I says, I want to use his name. Everybody that comes to the store knows who he is. I says, tell you what, I don't need to make the hot dogs. I, I says, you make the hot dogs. It's your son. You make the hot dogs. So I believe he went and he, I think he burned them or something, but he made the hot dogs. And I, I said, I, I went over there after and he, he messed them up. I said, listen, you put them in for so many minutes, that's it. Because he was used to cooking like 15 hot dogs at a time. He's only cooking two, so he burnt them. So I said, listen, put a couple more in, forget those, throw them in the garbage. I said, here, you put them in for like two minutes or whatever it was. So, and he made the hot I said, listen, and you know, I said, now you're going to make the hot dogs because... If I'm I'm busy. Yeah, there's no reason why you can't make them the hot dogs for poor hot dog John. So he had hot dogs that night. After that, somehow they found a way to stop at McDonald's. Not that I wasn't going to give him the hot dogs, but because he was going to have to interrupt his magic game to for for three minutes or four minutes to make them. So see what happens, <laughs> and and that's that was the end of Hot Dog Johnny getting hot dogs anyway. Now I think once in a while he he didn't have a chance and made them, but you know it was just a funny story that you know while I was making them it was all right, but as soon as he had to make them, spend five minutes, then it was uh, you know something uh, no good. But anyway, so that that was always a funny story, and I'm glad the guys reminded me last night. To talk about Hot Dog Johnny. <laughs> and there's more to talk about them too, but that's just a small story. All right, we're going to go to the box break here. Let's see what we get, because I just got these in a couple of days ago. So it says, look for exclusive Royal Blue Base Card Parallels. Uh, let's see, what else are we going to get? Exclusive to this and all value boxes is Holiday Base Card Variations. All right, seven packs with 12 cars per pack. Okay, assemble special insert sets. Let him cook Autumn Tales 2024 All-Star Game. Tops black and gold and heavy lumber is rare. All right, do they guarantee you anything? It just says look for exclusive royal blue base parallels. Now, see, they went. Yeah, I don't see nothing else. I guess, oh, okay. Look for two exclusive holiday base card parallels per box. All right. 
See, I'd rather what they had those, like, I, last video I showed that nice, uh, I think it was Francisco Lindor. I like that stuff, when they used to put that kind of stuff in here. You know, even though it was uh, fake memorabilia, at least it looked nice. But what are you going to do? Now they put these parallels, Halloween and all this kind of stuff. All right. Here we go. Let's see what we get. I have no idea what's in this stuff. I haven't watched anything as far as people opening it. Okay. I don't think I have anything. All right. Let's see. We're going to start. Let me just throw this in here. Hold on. Let's throw this in the box already. All right. Here we go. Let's see what we get. Well, we get a uh, Stars MLB Matt Chapman. Oh, what's this here? It's upside down. It's upside down, but it uh, just a Trey Turner. I don't know. All right, we got a Kirby Yates. Get a Heston uh, Kerjat. Rookie, Alec Burleson, got an Oliver Dunn rookie, a Mitch Spence rookie, Landon Roop rookie, got a Jacob Hertz Beast rookie, Victor Caratini, oh, we got a nice Juan Soto, look at that, and we got a Rainbow Foil Carlos Santana. All right. That's, I guess it's a rainbow. I'm think I'm calling it a rainbow. I don't know if it's one of those blue things. I don't know. But we're supposed to get two holiday exclusives. Let's see. All right. What do we got here? We got a... Oh. Is this maybe the parallel? I don't know. Gavin Williams rookie. It looks like a parallel. So... I guess that's the holidays, Halloween. I don't know. It really, doesn't really tell you what holiday you're celebrating. Holiday base card parallels. So, I don't know. Maybe they're back to the Halloween stuff. We got an Austin Wells rookie. He better start hitting. He's hitting like 080-something in the series. Got a Ricky Venasco rookie card. A lot of rookies. Brett Sullivan. Got a Ronaldo Lopez, a Cubs Jake Wong and Porter Hodge, a rookie card of Andy Pages, a Jared Jones rookie, Max Schumann rookie, Stephen Kolek rookie. So there's a load of rookies in this stuff. Kevin Newman. And Richie Palacios. Oh, there's a Stars, the MLB, Gavin Williams rookie. All anyway, right, so you, you're getting loads and loads of rookies. But, the, you know, this stuff is mass-produced, so... <laughs> I know what I'm doing now with rookies from a few years ago. I'm putting, like, six of them together to try to get, like, seven ninety five. <laughs> okay, what do we got here? Let's see. Got a Trevor Williams... An Austin Martin rookie. A Nelson Velasquez. Matt Moore. Blake Trinan. A Shana Emanaga rookie card. We've got an Orioles battery power. Smile's getting a little. We've got a Cade Smith rookie. A Blaze Alexander rookie. A Randall Grejuk. We got an anniversary card of Marcus Simeon. Oh, this is nice. Stars of the MLB rookie card of Paul Skeens. All right, so we're getting a lot of cards, a lot of rookies. Let's see here. Oh, we got another holiday parallel. Oliver Dunn rookie. See, I'd rather have the, the one relic per box than this. This stuff don't impress me that much. 
We got a Tyler Wade. Now we got a Paul Skeens rookie. Corey Bradford. We got a John Birdie. That's the first John Birdie Yankee card I got. We got another Yankee card. Clayton Andrews and Josh Mazeski. Whoops, I dropped it too. We got a Tanner Banks. Mitch Garver. A rookie card of Jordan Lejeur. Oops, this one's sticking. A Daniel Hudson. Oh, I did pretty good. I got a Tops Black and Gold rookie card of Shala Amanaga. That's a nice, they're nice cards, the Black and Gold. Got another Juan Soto. Maybe it's a variation. I don't know. I got two two different Juan Soto cards. And I got a Stars of the MLB, Austin Riley. I still got three packs to go. I think there's a very slim chance for autos or whatever, but it's probably very slim. We got a Cam Eden rookie. Oops. A Tony Kemp. Got a Jerkson Profar. A Jackson Merrill rookie. Oh, they're blowing over there now. <laughs> and Eddie Rosario. Zach Geloff rookie. Oh, we got a Jackson Holiday rookie. That's nice. Got an Evan Carter rookie, a Rowdy Telez. We got a Yamamoto rookie. Oh, he killed my Yankees. We got an Alex Jacob rookie, and a Marcus Simeon stars the MLB. All right. We got two more packs left. Let's see what we got here. Oh, another parallel. A Lucas Ursegg holiday parallel. Got an Alex Spees rookie card. Got an Adam Simber. A David Peterson. The Orioles, David Banuels and Matt Crook. Got a Denilson Lament. It's the Dodgers career home run record leadoff specialist. Oops, we got a Colin Rea, a Josh Smith, a J.D. Martinez. We got a Trevor Rogers. Now we got a stars the MLB Anthony Rizzo. It's a chrome one though. That's a chrome one. And we got a Stars MLB rookie, a Wyatt Langford. All right, one more pack they go. So I got I got some nice rookies so far. I got a couple of the top rookies. A few of the top rookies. We got a Tyler Black rookie. A Tanner Scott. Peter Fairbanks. Oh, we got Ahmad Rosario. Romy Gonzalez. Got a Rodri Munoz rookie. A Gavin Williams rookie. Landon Nax rookie. Oh, upside down card and it's numbered. Ooh, it's numbered to 199. Wow. Oh, it was a pirate. Too bad it wasn't Skeens. <laughs> Number to 199, red parallel of Yasmani Grandal. All right. At least I got something numbered anyway. We got an anniversary card of David Ortiz. A Pete Alonzo. And a Stars at the MLB Justin Verlander. Talking about Ortiz. How about after those World Series games? You got Ortiz. You got Derek Jeter, A-Rod, and another guy. Well, with the Yankees losing, and losing pretty bad, you, you can tell Derek Jeter can't stand it. <laughs> so, he can't stand it sitting there. What's he going to say? The Yankees are losing. But he's 
still Larry's a trooper. So and hopefully they'll start winning tonight. We'll see what happens. All right, and that's that's our box break. It was okay. They're twenty five dollars most of the places, and for twenty five dollars, it's probably worth it. Have some fun. You know, I did get some nice rookies. I mean, like I said, unless you get something numbered rookie wise or something, the other rookies are probably going to be mass produced and not worth a whole lot. But at least we got them. So I can say I got a, a Jackson Holiday, Yamamoto, and Paul Skeen's rookie out of one box. Not bad. All right. So we're going to close it up. We got prizes. Let's see here. So if you comment on this video and you're a subscriber, on Saturday, you're going to have a chance for these prizes. So first out of the box is going to get the 2021 Topps Chrome Update Pack. Second out of the box, hey, I pulled it for the Dodgers. This is an old Dodger. It's a diamond, uh, black diamond. Remember black diamond stuff. Back card of Royal Mondesi from the older Dodgers there. Third out of the box, we got an old card. This one is, I believe, a 1981 Kellogg's 3D Superstars Dave Kingman card for third out of the box. And fourth out of the box, we got one of those stars of the MLB, Gunnar Henderson rookie for fourth out of the box. So all you got to do is be a subscriber and comment on this video, and you have a chance on Saturday for one of those. Oh, Luke's just pulling in. All right, just in time. All right, thanks a lot, everybody. Don't forget our eBay. We're Sports PG on eBay with over 17,000 items now, I think. A lot of stuff. He's going to come in and put some more stuff on. And we're on COMC. Mr. 95 Cents on COMC. All right. Thanks, everybody, for listening. I appreciate it. And don't forget, collect what you like, because if it goes up or down, you still like it. And try not to buy a box for more than 120 because what we're getting out of stuff ain't been worth it lately. All right, everybody. Take care. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.